statement of like that's the letter that they were thinking and then they would spell out and then they would write out his message about what he was saying i, I was like just get a ouija board <laughs> like really come on um yeah let the ghost do the spelling for you uh but but one thing that did come out of all of this was that the <laughs> the poltergeist had really bad spelling <laughs> Well, all right. Did it have spelling? Like, was it bad at spelling or was it trying to save time? Like, you know what I mean? No, like, it was bad. It was bad spelling. Like there's, there, there's, um, uh, yeah, sausage, for, you know, like some people are bad texters because they have sausage thumbs. <laughs> maybe maybe. Yeah, he was using a bad, yeah, he was using a bad thumb board. He just mashing like five letters at once. Yeah. He was using maybe the little ELS, like, motion right. one. Yeah. <laughs> then maybe this is ESL fucking poltergeist. Yeah. He's not using well, that well, Yeah. We'll get to, we'll get to that part too. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's take a quick beer break right there and we'll get back to, uh, this dyslexic poltergeist. We'll be right back. We're back. Uh. So the family, the media, and the public are all gearing up and eagerly awaiting this big event that was scheduled for the evening of the of the 22nd of February, where Donald, the poltergeist that had been plaguing the Hitchings family, was going to be exorcised. Now, Hank's... Yeah, good old exorcism. <laughs> good old-fashioned exorcism. How do you so exorcise that, a house? It wasn't the house. This is the thing. Fucking... It's a, it's a fucking geist named Donald. Yeah, that's what yeah, I mean. But, I, I agree with Brayden like because exorcism like a demon's inside you. But this yeah, is like, like there's a pol- demon. The poltergeist is the house demon, if you want to look yeah. at it that way. Sure. Um, I seem to remember By it, the strictest I definition. I have exorcised the demons. The demons. <laughs> this house is clear. <laughs> yeah, I, I think they, had, they had kind of settled on, on the idea that this was, it was some type of kind of like possession case kind of going on i mean i mean, I guess poltergeist in the strictest sense is not like an accurate term to refer to this entity i suppose um more like a possession of some type or cohabitation i guess and sometimes um gotta remember too this is a part-time medium maybe he's not fucking yeah it, maybe right? he's not making that's yeah. yeah. true yeah, that's true um so hanks was going to perform this exorcism at his home in groveway stockwell which is about uh, one and a half miles uh, west of Wycliffe Road, where the Hitchings family lived. Now, there were going to be people there, not just Hanks. It was going to be Hanks, his family, uh, like his wife and his daughter, um, plus uh, some photographers, reporters, and a TV cameraman. Uh, plus, plus Wally uh, was going to be there uh, to ensure Shirley's safety. Uh, and they were all going to kind of cram into to the one, you know, the common room uh, of, of where they were. Now, they had the cameraman there, uh, though unfortunately for us, uh, Hanks refused to allow any photography or film during the no flash act- photography. No flash yep. photography during the actual procedure, uh, the actual exorcism itself, because he felt that that would interfere with the conditions that were needed to for the ex- for the exorcism to prove the smart <laughs> that he was yeah, full yeah, of yeah. shit. Um, so I want no evidence well, no, of this because no, I don't know what the I fuck mean, like, I'm doing. Maybe like it, so let's just say like because they said electronic devices and stuff capture scares the stuff away. So it's like if you're trying to capture it into a room or a place to then expel you, this it. This is what do you mean electronic devices? This is 1956. You got fucking cameras made of stone with woodpeckers inside, <laughs> fucking carving out the fucking image. It's a living. Um, yeah. <laughs> Nice. Uh, so any any of the footage or photos that, that you will see on the internet of the actual things like those those were actually staged uh, for after the actual exorcism had taken place. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. Like they were like I mean they had everybody there, so they wanted to get something. Um, but all of those they got all their robes on and shit. You gotta fucking get a good picture of it, right? <laughs> so the exorcism pretty much. <laughs> The exorcism pretty much went down uh, like this. Uh, they sang, they sang a couple Christian songs. Uh, Onward, Christian soldier, soldiers. Of mine. Ah, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna let it shine. shine. This little light of mine. Uh, they had a piano. They had I'm a. Gonna let it shine. They had a Mrs. This Adda Rodin accompanying on the upright piano. Well, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. Let it shine. And then they went into the, the, the Lord. Demon. Yeah. And then they went into the Lord is my shepherd. Uh, and then know. after that, which was fun. <laughs> Wait, you don't know. Uh, and that was followed by a period of contemplative silence and prayer. Uh, in <laughs> order to, to they they followed by silence because the they didn't know any more songs. They just all sat there like, oh. Fight. 
We Spirit in the sky, the close it out. We sing all the hits. <laughs> this, this silence was suddenly broken by the sound of a pounding on the front door. Like seconds after the silence, like the silence I'll was going on. I'm skipping. So they sent Mrs. Hanks downstairs to no, check. It, it was, was fucking grandma. Noise. Shut up. <laughs> well, grandma was like a mile and a half away. Did she walk all the way there? Like, <laughs> um, oh, she's six four. She took three steps and she's there. She's so. Huge. Mrs. Hanks returned uh, after checking the front door to inform her husband that there were two policemen at the door. Hey, Hanks, listen, listen, I'm the cops. I pound on the door. I see a 15 year old girl surrounded by fucking dudes in cloaks. I just start blasting. <laughs> I don't even ask questions. Uh, it it might have complicated matters a little bit because uh, when. Uh, <laughs> When Hank's wife, Mrs. Hank's wife, um, <laughs> tried to um, tried to relay this information to him, he didn't respond because he was so deeply Fucking entranced God. in the procedure of the exorcism. So he didn't even respond to her, apparently, uh, while she was trying to deal with these policemen because she was trying to, to tell them uh, <laughs> uh, she was trying to tell them that this wasn't this wasn't anything super serious. Because apparently what the police had been told was that while they were patrolling Brixton Road in their car, they had received an order to go to Groveway where the where Hank's. Um, house was located and because an anonymous call had notified scotland yard that there was a black magic ceremony taking place at that address yeah, you start blasting man i guess they don't have guns back then they start yeah. billy clubbing well, they, yeah. <laughs> they just said, so i started clubbing <laughs> do they have guns well, now that's a, you do, no, no. They but you came no. you came to just club you I think they just I mean, have, they they tasers, have like right? special. They've got they get special units that carry, but for the, like the, the it's not standard officers issue. and stuff like that. Fucking billy clubs and yeah. When you tasers first like and... first responders there are beating you. Second <laughs> responders are shooting you. So uh, Mrs. Hanks apparently did her best to try to explain that what was going on was actually a spiritualist meeting and that it was yeah. perfectly legal in the eyes of the law. So the eyes which, of the Lord. <laughs> which it matters? Well, which I would think funny? be arguable because black magic. I would, I would, I would lump in necromancy, the communicating with the dead, bringing up the dead, like as black magic. Like, when well, you bang the dead. Well, no, that's no, that's not <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, yeah it's, it's <laughs> like funny oddly enough i like i know you uk and canada are common law so it's it, it, a little dan like it, it's not it's not the same for you but like up until like the latest revision of like the canadian criminal code like two years ago like fortune telling was legit not allowed according to the criminal code of canada yeah, but hey like, listen witchcraft, Mrs. Cleo witchcraft better not bring her ass to canada yeah That's witchcraft and here. fucking <laughs> witchcraft and fortune telling and like a bunch of the shit was not allowed blasphemy as of like two years ago so 20 2023 20, like 2020 that stuff got removed from the criminal code of canada yeah, we, so i can imagine it like this time in england the criminal code was probably like fucking black magic like all this shit was probably in the criminal code like this ain't they say okay this, isn't Buddy, this is not that far removed from like the vampire panic and shit like that like this yeah, does not yeah. surprise this is me. true yeah <laughs> and then we have the fucking satanic panic in a fucking few years like um so for a quarter of an hour the, like you know 15 minutes the, the the cops she invited the police in to actually watch and listen to the proceedings of what was going on and then they just they finally left and they were pretty much satisfied that whatever was going on they didn't see it as being against the law so they I mean it's left. fucking weird <laughs> yeah. it's not illegal i guess <laughs> uh so soon after they left um apparently hanks uh was <laughs> was possessed by his African spirit guide. That's how they describe it. He, he is infused by some type of uh, guardian guide spirit with the name of Sambo, hey, Sambo. Uh, who spoke through him in a deep voice. And Sambo uh, declared that the exorcism had worked. Uh, and for some reason in my mind, when I think this Sambo speaks in the third person. My name is Sambo. No, so it's like no, Sambo no. declares this has worked. I'll be honest. Like, is that is Sambo? First of all, not only is it like a martial art, but 
I'm pretty sure Sambo is like a derogatory term for African Americans. Mm. What? Sambo? <laughs> Probably. Yeah. Which is kind of terrible that said... he's like, my name is Sambo. <laughs> like, yeah. Said... Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.